I've said this before and I'll say it again, I am much better at the electronics aspect and the design aspect of my indoor gardening hobby than the actual gardening itself, which is the main reason why I'm trying to automate all of my responsibilities, but things are going pretty well for me in this round of veggies. I haven't really been doing a very good job of capturing the growth of all these new plants in my new garden, but I figured it's probably better late than never and people might want to see sort of where things are at after a couple months, so here we are. I started the seeds for most of these plants back at the end of January, so the majority of these guys are about 70 days old at this point. This zucchini is the star of the operation for sure, and I'm harvesting from it every five days or so right now. I've been trying to stay on top of trimming all the old growth and keeping this plant organized. I'm putting zucchini into everything we eat. I'm grating it and mixing it with ground beef for burgers. I'm spiraling it and using it instead of noodles for pasta. All sorts of sneaky moves like that. If you guys have any good recipes, please leave them in the comments. I'm growing two types of cucumbers here. The variety on the left is a word that I'm too scared to try to pronounce, and the one on the right is called Socrates. This is the first time I've tried growing cucumbers indoors, and I'd say these plants are the ones that are giving me the most difficulty. I've got two levels of trellis netting in place. I'm working on filling out this first one with all the new shoots that form, and then once it's filled up, I'll move everything up to the second level. I'm trying to avoid having any of these cucumbers just sitting in the wet cocoa, so I built these two guys a little pickle hammock out of some velcro. Probably best not to google that term. I'm noticing that some of the leaves on these plants are yellow tipped, some are splotchy and they feel a little bit crispier than they should. I've been pretty on the ball with keeping pH at about 6.0 since I haven't quite gotten around to automating that yet. And EC for these guys is around 1.5 right now. I suspect that my problem is that I'm overwatering these, which should be pretty hard to do in cocoa, but I think it may be the case. I wanted to get them into their final three gallon pots quickly so I could start trellising them, but I think the pots are just too big for these plants and by flooding them twice daily while the lights are on, the cukes aren't really able to make use of all that wet cocoa at their current size, so I'm going to cut down my watering and see if that does the trick. The Socrates variety is definitely outproducing its competition so far. I made this same mistake of trying to move some of my larger peppers into their three gallon pots too early as well, and they didn't do very well, so I ended up moving them back into smaller pots. The tomatoes are doing just fine in the three gallon pots right off the bat since they're crazy hungry. You really have to keep on top of these sucker shoots on the tomatoes because if you miss them, they're huge in a couple days and they make the plant a really big mess. You can chop these suckers off and it's really easy to root them and start a whole new plant. I've got one pepper plant, this is a black ghost pepper that is having problems with edema, which I believe is what these little bumps under the leaves are caused by. I'm not sure why it's just the one, nor am I sure how I'm going to sort this out yet, but it seems to be mainly only on the lower leaves, so we'll see how it goes. I've also got another pepper that's way taller than the rest, and I want to keep them roughly the same height to make it a bit easier to control how much light they all get, so I ended up topping this one. This will make it fork here and hopefully match the height of the others a little bit better. My NFT system's doing all right. It took me a while to set things up, so by the time the first batch of plants went into it, they were pretty far along, and I think this actually kind of worked against me a little bit since quite a bit of the beautiful roots that had formed in this little bubbler tote died since it couldn't reach the solution in the bottom of the NFT pipes. It would have been nice if I had drilled the holes out a little bit bigger in these pipes so that these net cups sat lower as well, but not much I can do now at this point, nor do I really want to put the effort in. The plants did hang in there though and formed some pretty nice little root balls, all things considered. And I've started harvesting the lettuce and replacing it with all these little guys on deck.
Well, that's it for now. I'm gonna try and get some footage of the garden on a more regular basis and then make a video like this every few weeks or so, I think. If you're interested in the garden or the automation system that's running it, please do me a solid and like the video and consider subscribing to see more. And maybe you'll think it's so cool that you'll even start your own. Big shout out to my new members that have joined the channel. Rick, Andrew, Mark, and Kenneth, thank you guys so much for helping me get more time to work on this stuff and share everything I learned so that others may go down this path as well. You guys are awesome. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you on the next one.